your brain is 100% involved in this process. Uh, you know, you have the prefrontal cortex, which as we've discussed, that's the one that plans and reasons. That's that part of your brain. It gets completely hijacked by the amygdala, which is the alarm system that doesn't process anything well. And it's constantly just screaming that there is no hope. And that's what happens. The amygdala has taken over. It's hijacked your brain, right? There was a study in neuroscience in 2018 that showed that in this state, you've got this amygdala overdrive, right? Like suicidal thoughts begin to spike the amygdala activity by about 25%. And this, what this is going to do immediately is start to cloud your judgment. And then your serotonin drops significantly, which as we've talked about, and as most of you know, low serotonin is, is linked to depression. And then that correlates with a 30% higher risk of suicide. And then there's a, 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 a theory, and it's a, I don't know if it's a, a, a medical term, but it's uh, called a cognitive tunnel. And this is where suicidal ideation begins to narrow your focus. 